Hi guys, this is Barry from Copper vs Glass and today I'm going to be showing you how to get ice cream sandwich on your Galaxy S2 with no hacking involved whatsoever. It's a technique called skinning and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Hey guys, so we're here looking at how we can make our Galaxy S2 look a little bit like ICS using a method known as skinning and today we're going to be using the Go launcher which in my opinion is the most customizable launcher that you can get from Android that allows you to change pretty much every visual aspect of the phone. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the Android market, we're going to do a search for Go, Go Launcher EX. Now this is the paid version but I highly suggest that you get it rather than the free version because there's a lot more customizable options in here. So we're going to say install and download. While that's doing that I'm also going to go ahead and get the theme as well that we need. So we're going to simply type in ICS into the search. I'm going to say all apps. And then what we're going to do is it's this one right here, Go Launcher EX theme ICS. And it's by Ali Fox. Or Ale Fox, whichever way you pronounce it. Okay, I've already installed it, so it says it's open here, so I've just simply downloaded it, but I haven't applied it yet. Just simply downloaded it. Now what we're going to do is, now that I've installed the Go Launcher, if we press the home button, it's going to ask us, what do we want to do now? I'm going to say set as default, I'm going to say Go Launcher. Now you can see it tells us that what, about, what Go Launcher is about. I'm going to skip this, and we're going to go straight back to the home screen. Here's Go Launcher. Now in my opinion, the default Go Launcher theme is quite cartoonish, maybe tailored towards a certain type of customer. But what we're going to do is, we're actually going to... Ah, some fun transitions here. We're going to stick with default. What we're going to do is we're actually going to change the theme of this now to make it look like ICS. Now, as many of you may know, ICS has been pretty much officially confirmed now for March the 1st uh, of 2012, so look forward to that. But again, it is unfortunately going to be the Samsung skinned version. What I did just there was just delete all of the home screen, so we just got the standard one screen here just for convenience purposes. Now the first thing we're going to do is apply the, the skin. So as you can see down the bottom here it's a very sort of cartoonish see-through look that we've got here as a standard default theme. We're going to press the menu button on your phone and we're going to go to themes. Now this will show you some of the hot themes that they have in the market at the moment but we're going to go across and the one you downloaded from the store a minute ago will show up here in my themes. So we're going to click on it. We can view some screenshots of what it's going to look like and even some information about the developer and if you can give them feedback I suggest that because they've done a really great job of this and we're going to say apply so instantly you can see what it's done to the phone it's changed the bars at the bottom the start menus so you've got the center applications icon the icons themselves have changed to mimic the ICS icon set and we've got the background here as well. Now the things that won't change are going to be things like your status bar, that will still be the Samsung skinned appearance because that is deeply embedded in the OS so it cannot be changed just by simply skinning the phone, you'd have to uh, hack it and root it by doing that. You'll notice if you press the menu button again on the bottom of your phone this has now changed appearance it's a slightly darker grey with the blue ICS colour here and it looks, in my opinion, a lot cooler. If you press the app icon in the middle you notice the app tray has now changed too. Now the reason why I like this launcher the best not only because of the appearance but because it orders the apps in alphabetical order in the app tray which is something Samsung Touchless does not do and it is really, really frustrating. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to start looking how we can actually customize this a little bit long, a bit more. So the way we do that is we press the menu button on your phone and we go to preferences. Settings, remember, is going to be your phone settings. So we're going to change preferences. Here we can see visual, screen, app draw effects, gestures, advanced, and even things like backing up, about, and exit. We're going to go into visual, backgrounds, you can change the wallpaper, the wallpaper mode if it's default which is scrolling with the screen or vertical which is a static home screen. Dock background, we can leave that as the theme. 
and even the app draw background. Now the app draw background at the moment is black. You can also make it transparent and see through to the home screen, but I like it black because that's what ICS is. Icons. The icons are now going to be imported from the theme, so you see theme icon, ice cream sandwich for EX, current, fonts, you can change the font of your phone. Now I personally, if you say scan, it will pick up all the fonts that have been used by the system on your phone and will allow you to select the font and now you can change the font on your phone. Now my personal favourite is Helvetica New Regular slightly thinner font, it's very nice, it's a very uh, modern font I think indicator, which is the home screen indicators at the top when you change screens if I add one screen here you've got these two little dots at the top which represent what home screen you're on preferences again go to screen screen orientation it's worth noting that with the skin version of this, if you flip the phone round, it will actually rotate your home screen as well, which is something TouchWiz doesn't do. To stop that from happening, I just click vertical, and then when I turn the phone round, it doesn't change the orientation of the home screen, but it will still change the orientation of the apps. You can even change how many icons are on the screen at the same time, and you can even have separate icon docks as well so you can have four icons on your dock then another four, four and then another four after that I'm just going to say one dock row just to keep it as a standard four app draw settings again very simple effects home screen transitions that's when you're switching from screen to screen you can have cool little bouncy effects, zooming effects, scrolling effects but they do drain battery and I just like the default theme Gesture control, home screen action, when you press the home key what is the phone going to do uh, and you can also say when I glide my finger up the screen or down the screen perform a certain action I'm actually going to disable both of these because I don't really like those very much then we've got advanced notifications is a good thing so you can install a Go Launcher application from the Go Launcher store that allows you to mimic the iPhone in that when you get a text it will put a little pin or like a little badge on the app saying you've got a message which Android doesn't currently do and you can also back up the settings to your phone's SD card as well so here we have it we've got a very ICS looking phone now which we can start to add our icons to you notice that if we go in here we've got the standard home screen arrangement what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take off these tabs at the top because I don't particularly like those, I just want the apps. So we're going to go to preferences, I believe it's in visual, nope. App drawer of course. Uh, app drawer tab, nope we don't want that. Uh, app update info, we don't want that either. So we'll take all those off, go back to the app drawer and now you can see it's just the apps themselves. Now I'm actually going to customize it a little bit further and say the grid size is going to be 4 by 5 and now you can see we've got five icons on the screens uh, in the columns. So here we have it, this is ICS for Go Launcher it's not going to bring the full ICS experience of course, it's nothing close, but it's at least a visual change and we can really look forward to ICS in the coming weeks, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, so yeah, this has been Barry from Copper vs Glass and I'll see you guys later.